Welcome back, everyone. It's the Bourbon Judge. We are diving into Lucky Seven, the Frenchman. Uh oh. All right. Before we dive into this, real quick, couple updates. So first and foremost, I want to welcome my newest uh, patrons, uh, my good friend uh, Wan Shark, and then Shane. So Wan Shark and Shane, thank you for becoming uh, patrons and supporting the Bourbon Judge. As well as I should say, thank you to all my patrons, you guys and ladies, all help for all this to come to fruition. So much love and respect to all my patrons, and thank you so much for all your support. Another update, uh, Cousin Nita, she is actually arriving tonight. Yes, she's arriving tonight, so looking forward to hanging out with her. I have to uh, <laughs> drink a whole bunch of water whenever she's in town because we always end up drinking a whole bunch of whiskey. <laughs> um, but yeah, be on the lookout for a live stream later this week with Cousin Nita. We'll definitely make sure we get some reviews in, some episodes, um, so that should be a blast as well. And last but not least, I just, uh, again, earlier, actually, yeah, earlier this week, picked my, uh, along with some of my patrons, we did a, a, a barrel pick over at Penelope, so we had a blast. We picked two amazing barrels. Um, we had the Architect and a Toasted Barrel Strength, so be on the lookout. That was going to come out to my patrons first, and if whatever is left over, of course, obviously, we'll, you know, uh, publish in the link so that all my subscribers can uh, have access to some of those bottles as well so and then i'm actually getting ready to go out in another few weeks out let's call it i'll say out west i'm not gonna say exactly where just yet but for my next barrel pick so trying to uh keep up with uh making sure we get great access to great barrels for all my patrons and then whatever is left over of course for all my subscribers as well all right speaking of subscribers before we dive into this i'm almost at 12,000 subscribers so please go ahead hit that subscribe button and the bell so you get notification each and every time I release new content. Cool? All right. Enough talking, Judge. Let's get into the whiskey. So I just grabbed this one. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of Lucky 7. I review, actually, gosh, the number one whiskey for 2022, my number one, was the proprietor, age 14 years. And that was flat out amazing. Then I had the uh, the Holiday Toast, the uh, Double Oaked, which is also really, really good. And they had some other ones as well, but I've seen this Frenchman. I knew it came out about nine months ago. I think it was like last, either like July, August of 2022. So I was like, you know, I need to pick this one up. So I found it while I was hunting this weekend, and here we go. So what do we know? Again, Lucky 7, again, started by two friends. Um, they have, you know, they are sourcing their whiskey, which is cool. They're sourcing their whiskey primarily from uh, Kentucky-based distilleries. We believe, most people say, that it is primarily Barton 1792, and then they are doing whatever they do to tweak, alter it, with the exception of the proprietor, which is, of course is a single barrel. But in this case, this is the Frenchman. So this one is coming in at 113 proof. So 113 on the dot. Now we don't know the actual age statement and we don't know how long it, it lives in um, because the Frenchman is, think about the name, the Frenchman, it is finished in French oak barrels and brand new French oak barrels. So we don't know even how long is being aged in the new uh, oak French barrel. So that's something we don't know. What we do know is the proof, 113. MSRP, if you find it uh, in various different stores, which I will say, I've seen this bottle in numerous different states. It's always about $80 on the dot. And the cool thing is, is that if you go to directly to their website, to Lucky7Spirits.com, you will also find it on their website for $80 on the dot. So you really don't even have to hunt for it. If you're interested in trying it, you can go directly to their website and buy it for 80 bucks, you know, plus shipping, obviously. All right, let's get into the nose. So a lot of a lot of different subscribers and even some patrons have told me that judge this bottle kind of lives almost in that realm of like the makers 46 cast strength and then also the Penel Penelope architect. So it's like that whole, you know, obviously, again, the whole French oak stage. So it kind of lives in between those two. So it'd be very interesting to see how similar or different it is versus those two. And again, I don't have those two in front of me now, but just kind of going off memory. All right, let's get into this nose, friends. Woo, I like the nose by itself. So what's what's unique on this one, this is extremely, a ton of like graham cracker notes, like graham cracker, cinnamon, chocolate, and behind it, a little bit of like maple syrup and a smidge of like, um, almost like some fruit notes in there as well. Almost like a chocolate covered, like banana kind of a note. 
Oh, very nice. Yeah, this is a really interesting nose. This, the nose is slightly different, in my opinion, than the Penelope Architect or even like the Makers 46 Castring. This is a lot more, a lot more cinnamon, a lot more like chocolate, like that chocolate covered banana note, and a lot more uh, the graham cracker notes. Mm, I like the nose though. All right, Lucky Seven. The question is, Lucky Seven has been putting out hit after hit or release after release, but they are also hits as well. Question is, is it a buy or a do not buy? I've never had this before, so this is a true first sip, literally. Not even in a bar. Uh-oh, all right. Woo, baby. All right, let's dive into it, friends. Here we go. Cheers, everybody. Mmm. Ooh. Damn. Wow. <laughs> That is way, wow, that's interesting. Hold on, give me one second, I need a little bit more of this. Goodness. Oh wow, okay. So number one, this is a perfect mirror of the nose matching the palette and the finish. Everything in the nose. This is extremely, a ton of cinnamon. It's a ton of like that, like that chocolate, but with like that banana note in there as well, like a chocolate covered banana and that graham cracker. It is exactly that, 100%. Question is, judge, is this a buy or a do not buy and why? The verdict is in. This is a definite buy and I'm actually gonna say this is damn near amazing. Here's the reason why. Number one, the nose, the palette matches the nose. It's at a nice long finish coming in at exactly, yep, the 113, 113 proof. Um, it's a nice long finish, but it's not very like overpowering where it knocks you out, but it's a phenomenal finish as a whole. I like the palette in this probably even better than the nose or even the finish. The palette is extremely like creamy and like just silky, like very creamy. This is really good. It is extremely chocolate forward. Tons of uh, graham cracker, tons like that um, chocolate covered banana note, and the cinnamon all together. This is amazing. I'm going to actually say, if I'm ranking, I'm not going to compare it to Penelope Architect or Makers 46 because they live in completely separate zones. They really do. This is a little, a bit more full body compared to like the Penelope or the Makers. A lot more chocolate in this one compared to uh, Penelope or Makers. I think uh, Penelope is a slightly, uh, the architect, is a little bit sweeter. The Makers is a little bit spicier. This is just very creamy and rich. So they're actually completely different. But if I'm comparing these compared, like if I'm look, walking into a store and I see the Holiday Toast and I see this one, I honestly probably would grab this one before I would grab the holiday toast. And I love, you guys know me, I love double oaked every day, all day. And while I think they're double oaked, the uh, uh, the Lucky 7 uh, double oaked is really, really good. I think just comparing the two, even though they're different, right? Because this has the, the French oak stays. This by far is way better than the holiday toast, in my opinion. Now, not the proprietor level. That's completely different. That's a single barrel cast, cast strength. But just comparing it to the uh, their double oaked. This by far, I think is way better. And at the exact same price, woo, I'm pouring me a little bit more of this. And for you cigar smokers out there, this will definitely pair very well with a cigar. All right, my friends, until the next time, as we say in the courtroom, peace, cheers, and most important, salute. Take care.